Hello beautiful, many of you requested me to do a sexy devil look for Halloween and since I love you guys so much, I just thought I had to do it, so here it comes. Let's begin with priming our lids, use a bit of concealer and apply it to your lids to prevent any possible creasing. Now move on to your eye makeup, start out with a dark pink color and work it well into your crease. Next is the highlight color. I'm using a creamy white eyeshadow, which I apply under the arch of my brow. Now let's fill in our lid by applying this beautiful red eyeshadow color. Using a small shading brush, apply the eyeshadow to empty areas on your lid. And if you have any harsh lines, use a fluffy dome brush to blend those out. Next is the eyeliner routine. This will help us transform a common makeup look into a sexy devil look. To do so, prolong the inner corner of your eye with a black gel eyeliner. Then pull the line to your upper lid and thereafter create a long wing on your outer corner. Finally, add some eyeliner to your waterline. Okay, and to finish off our eye makeup, apply the strip of your favorite false eyelashes and then some mascara. On my cheeks and lips, I'm wearing products by Sleek Makeup, which I really adore. Oh, and by the way, all the products used in this tutorial are listed in the description box, so check it out if you're interested. Now before we go on to our horns, let's collect our hair and create a small ponytail. Your hair might get into your way while you apply your horns and you don't want that. Now I'll show you the most exciting part of this tutorial and namely how to apply your horns. Take your sculpt gel which comes in three parts and mix equal parts of the product together. Then take your horns and add some cotton into it. This will make your horns less bouncy. I'm going to apply these horns to my forehead with the help of the spirit gum. Apply the spirit gum to the areas of the horns that will touch your skin. Tack slightly pressing and pulling until spirit gum becomes sticky. Firmly press the horns into place. Finally, add your sculpt gel mixture around the bottom part of your horns to secure those into place even more and create the effect of skin around the horns. Finally, add some color to your horns and apply some concealer on top of your sculpt gel to make it look like your own skin. And here's the final look. Please let me know if you want to see more Halloween makeups and if so, post your request below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.